Michael Mann. So I've been watching TV, nonstop coverage um, of the hurricane that's barreling up um, through the southeast, just having left carnage in its wake in Dominican Republic and Haiti. Um, there is there's interview after interview. There's extreme weather signs flashing on the TV. But the two words I don't hear discussed our climate change. Even today on CNN, as they were talking to the head of the National Hurricane Center, they said, is there anything else you want to share with people? He was in Florida. Where is the discussion of climate change, Michael Mann? And what is the connection between this hurricane, uh, Matthew, and climate change? Uh, thanks, Amy. You know, it's unfortunate that uh, some uh, in the weather community are, are not providing that critical context for understanding uh, this uh, trend towards increasingly devastating tropical storms and hurricanes. Uh, Matthew uh, is a, a very good example of a storm that uh, was unique, unprecedented in certain respects. It intensified uh, far more quickly um, than uh, any other storm uh, that we've seen in modern history, uh, basically going from not even a tropical depression to a near-hurricane-strength storm uh, over the course of, uh, uh, you know, less than half a day, and, and then the next day, of course, strengthening into a, a major hurricane, a Category 5 hurricane. It's weakened a little bit, but now it's restrengthening. And where that intensification, where that rapid intensification occurred was in the region of the Caribbean that has the greatest heat content. Not just that the ocean surface temperatures are warm, but there's a very deep layer of warm water. And that's important, because that helps sustain these storms as they churn up the ocean. Uh, the churning doesn't bring cold uh, water to the surface to, to weaken the storm if there's a deep layer of warmth. And that all uh, has a climate change signature uh, with it, uh, not just the fact that the ocean surface temperatures in the Caribbean are uh, at near record levels, but the, the, just the sheer depth of that warm water is unprecedented. And as the surface warming uh, penetrates into the ocean, we are seeing increases in ocean heat content. Uh, last year was the warmest our oceans have ever been on record. And that's critical context. It's that warmth that provides the energy that intensifies these storms. And it isn't a coincidence that we've seen the strongest hurricane in both hemispheres within the last year.